Craig shows up for work, having been at Coca-Cola for a short time now. Walking through the parking lot, he considers to himself what he has discovered concerning Vern, his team lead. Craig shows up for work. What a dilemma. This place really has a lot of potential, but under the current circumstances, it's doomed to fail. What a dilemma. This place really has a lot of potential, but... You're going to have your work cut out for you. Our Orlampa manufacturing facility is in serious trouble and will fail by the next year at this rate. But you've been hired to turn it around. We believe one of the managers is having a negative impact on the culture and reputation of our facility, and it's suppressing the profits. We need you to find out who is causing the problem and fix it. Craig remembers his talk have with the board of directors. Our Orlampa manufacturing facility is the only concerned about the bottom line and maximizing shareholder wealth. While we the efficiency the perspective is, is important, I believe it does have its flaws. The reputation of our Shareholders aren't the only reason why Coca-Cola is still in business. We need you to find out who is causing the problem. The board seems to be only concerned about the bottom line and maximizing shareholder wealth. The scene changes to Craig walking through the plant and meeting people. This is a huge facility with well over 600 employees. Craig is shown meeting and greeting his employees. The scene changes to Craig walking through the plant and meeting people. On the contrary, these people are the blood running through the veins of Coca-Cola. Their efforts are to sustain the business. I have to come up with a strategic corporate social responsibility model to meet the demands of shareholders without damaging the stakeholders. Over 600 people work here and they mostly live right here within a 10 mile radius. They know each other well and spend time with each other outside of work. If I can't fix the issues here, this business will fail and they'll all be out of a job. If I'm not careful though, I could end up causing irreplaceable damage to the business, finally pushing it off the edge. On the contrary, these people are the blood running through the veins of Coca-Cola. Their efforts. The scene cuts to Craig shaking Vern's hand when they met for the first time. It would seem the that my team lead Vern is definitely one of my biggest problems here. He's abrasive and can be time. difficult to deal with. He's had several complaints filed against him from employees as well as customers alike for acting irresponsibly and unethically. Most of the employees really like him though. At least that's the impression I get from them. They say deep down he has a good heart. He's been here for almost 30 years and will be retiring soon. So if I fire him right now before he retires, it could make things even worse for these people. It would seem that my team lead Vern is definitely one of my biggest problems here. He's abrasive and can be difficult to deal with. He's had The scene cuts back to Craig sitting at his desk. He looks up at the ceiling. The scene Craig cuts back to Craig sitting, sitting at his desk. An idea he looks up at the mind. ceiling. Craig yes. sits up straight in his chair. I really need to consider the morality mind. intensity factor here. There may not be a social consensus among employees if I let Vern go. It's true that some may be happy to see him go, but others may take it personally and lash out. I don't want my employees to start working against me rather than working for me. Yes. If I let him stay, I really need to consider the morality and intensity factor here. What better way to do there that? There may not be a social consensus among now, employees if I let him go. It's true that some may be happy if to I see let him go, stay, but others may take it personally and lash out. I don't want my what employees what better way to start do working that against me rather than working now for me. And let them work together. Scenes cut to an interview with Tammy. Scenes cut Tammy seems to, to have an interview a good head on Tammy. her shoulders. She's a business student in her final semester of college and is a perfect candidate for this position. Tammy seems to have a good head on her shoulders. She's a business student in her final semester of college and is a perfect candidate for this position. The scene cuts to Craig and Vern shaking hands as Craig holds the office door open for Vern. As they go into the office, Craig closes the door and shuts the blinds. I'm gonna the have scene to lay down cuts below to with Craig Vern and Vern now, shaking hands but I'll do that as Craig holds closed the doors. office door open for Vern. His behavior will as no they go into the office, he Craig needs to closes the door and shuts the blinds. He's also gonna have to work together with Tammy if he wants to keep working here. I'm gonna have to lay down the law with Vern now, 